Hi, this is Pedia Berserk Arcade at berserkarcade.com, and this is part eight of our day night cycle. So, we left off last time. Let's open up Unity and want to develop. Uh, we had just got the light intensity working on our suns, and it drops it to zero. So, now we want to start adjusting it uh, as it moves through the sky. So, I'm going to come down and create a new function at the bottom. It will also be private. It doesn't return anything, so it's going to be void. And I'm just going to call this uh, adjust lighting. And I'm just going to leave that empty for now. And I'm going to come up to the update function. And we, what we want to happen is we want to check to see if the time of day is greater than the sunrise, but less than the time it takes to get to noon. Now we've already got a check here to see if it's above sunrise and later on we can incorporate this new check into this here so we're not checking twice the same variable but just to keep things simple we'll make it separate from now. So we're going to say if time of day is greater than sunrise and time of day is less than noon time we'll want to do something and of course if it isn't we'll want to do something else now I want to go back down to our just lighting and I'm going to tell it that it's going to be receiving a parameter which will be of type bool and I'm just going to call this variable brighten and basically what it does is it tells it whether or not we're brightening the light or dimming the light. So I'll come back up to update. And right here where we're checking to make sure the time of day is greater than sunrise and it's less than noon time, we're just going to call that function. And we'll just say adjust lighting. And since it's between time or since it's between sunrise and noon time, we know we want it to be bright brightening. So we'll pass it a true value. And of course, if it's not between that time, which isn't quite right, we actually want an else if here. We'll say time of day is greater than noon and time of day is less than sunset. We want to call the exact same method, but this time we're going to tell it false. So we're not going to be brightening, we're going to be dimming. Now I'm going to come back down to the function that we just created, and I'm just going to set up an if block. So if brighten, so for passing in true, which means we want to brighten it up, I'm just going to say debug.log. And I'm just going to output that Brighton variable, its value. And then for my else statement, exact same thing. Now, obviously, I don't need the if else just for the debug statement. Uh, I'm just doing it to, we're going to want the if else block later. So I'm just going to put it in now. So let's head over to Unity. No errors show up. Let's start it up, and I'm just going to look at the console. So as soon as the sky box starts to blend, there we go, we're getting the true value. And then when this hits around noon, it should stop and then switch to false. And there we go. And we'll just make sure that when it hits sunset, that it stops doing it. There we go. So we'll stop that. We'll go back into Mono Develop. And then in here we're going to have to figure out exactly how bright it's supposed to be based on you know the time of day it is and the intensities that we have set up for it. Now we know when we want it to start and when we want it to stop, but we've got to be able to figure out exactly what position it's in and what percentage that position is according to what it wants to how bright it's supposed to be. 
Now let me just draw a quick picture. So we have our terrain. Now this is where our sun starts and on it points up. This is noon and our sun points down. Now I have my sun rising or my sunrise set to about here and it's pointing about there and my sun sets somewhere over here. Now I know that between here I don't want it to do anything and I've already got that set up in our update function the way we have it set up but what I want to be able to do is get the amount of time between here and here and store that somewhere and then when the sun actually gets here and as it's moving along this arc here well basically as it's rotating it'll give the appearance that it's moving along a, an arc I want to be able to figure out exactly you know what percentage of this line it's moved so far and I use that percentage to what brightness it should be at according to our min brightness and max brightness uh, hopefully that makes a little more sense let me just close this down and we'll start coding that up so the first thing we're going to want to do is to get how long the morning is going to be and how long the evening is going to be and we could just put that down here but since this is called every frame that the lighting needs to be adjusted and the value itself isn't going to change I'm going to put that up here in my start function so right near the end of my start function I'm going to put it above the setup lighting I guess we should make them global too so I'll make two more private variables of type float and the first one I'm just going to call it morning because this happens you know the, the time I guess we'll call it morning length because this is the time it takes from sunrise to noon and we'll have one more if I type float right and I'm gonna call this evening length and this is the time it takes to go from noon to sunset so down in my start function here and at the bottom of these other ones I'm gonna say what they're equal to so morning length is going to be equal to and we're just going to take the noon time and if we minus the sun uh, sunrise which we can see above is being converted into seconds as well uh, that'll tell us how many seconds exist between noon and sunrise and we'll do likewise with the evening so the e evening length is going to be the time that we have our sunset at you always want the one that's the largest first and we'll minus the noon time and a couple quick comments the length of the morning in seconds the length of the evening in seconds all right we got both of those done I'm just gonna get rid of some of these extra spaces here so now I'm going to come down to our new function here the adjusted lighting and I'm gonna get rid of these debug statements and I'm just gonna put some curly braces in there because we're gonna be having a few lines of code in each one so to start off with we're going to want to get the, the position of the sun in the arc so for in the morning we want to know exactly how far it's moved from sunrise to noon so basically what percentage along that arc it is so we're going to create a float and I'm just going to call it POS for position and this is going to be equal to our time of day minus the sunrise And then we'll want to divide that by morning length. Get the position of the sun in the morning sky. 
Now, since we have the position that it's, it should be in, we can just iterate through our, our suns now and, and move the sun accordingly. So we'll just create a simple for loop. And we're going to be looking at our sun scripts. And then we'll do the check to make sure that it's a sun that actually has a light component attached to it. Make sure to use the index. And it was, I think, give light? Yes. So if it does give light, so it does have a light component attached to it, we we'll want to get that component, the, the light component. And we'll want the intensity of that light. And we're just going to set it equal to max light intensity. First, we have to get the reference to it. So the max light brightness, and then multiply it by that position it is in the sky, like the percentage between sunrise and sunset. So we'll just say POS. Now I'm going to leave the else uh, empty right now and I'm going to add a quick debug statement here just so you can see what's going on and all I'm going to put out there is just the position which is really just the percentage of where it is in the sky so let's take a look here it's not sunrise yet but as soon as it hits sunrise you'll notice in the console the number going up and if you also look over at our light for our yellow sun, it's going up. And you'll notice that when it hits noon, it stops going up. When we're at you know 99.8% of whatever your max brightness was set to, which is pretty close. It's not exactly uh, what our max brightness is, but it can add a nice little variance throughout from day to day. It's not going to be quite as bright some days. And here we go again. Start scaling up as the day goes. And we're almost there. It's pretty close. Now for the evening, it's almost the exact same. A few things get changed around. But it's enough of the same that I'm just going to cut and paste what we have for the brightness and then just change what needs to be changed. So to get the position, we're actually going to want sunset. minus the time of day and we're going to want to divide by evening and I quickly change the comments and that should be the only line that needs to be changed uh, let's go test it out I have an error the name evening it's supposed to be evening length And those should disappear. I'll do a clear. We'll try it out. So the main thing I'm watching here is my intensity. It should go up to about 0.5, which is what I have my max set at. And then during the evening, it should scale back down to pretty close to zero. And there we go. And it stops. Now I'm going to want to adjust when my sun sets because it, I've got my sunset a little too high in the sky. But other than that, it's working. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to play around with our ambient lighting, I believe is what it's called. Uh, let me just see our render settings. Yeah, ambient light. Uh, for those people who don't have the advanced version, who don't have shadows, uh, you can still use Beast to bake shadows in. And while they won't move as the sun moves through the sky, you can still give the effect of a brightening and dimming of the light by playing around with the ambient light. And I'll do a quick tutorial on that next. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.